Good morning, everyone. This video goes out to Lulu because she had made a comment to me. Blandine, are you sure you can get up? You can stay up and do a sale at night? Well, sweetie Lulu, you were definitely right. Um, we didn't do it Saturday. No, Friday. We were supposed to do it last night. Rebel, get up out of there. Well, look at that. Good morning. Say good morning, Lulu. Say good morning, Lulu. <laughs> well, anyway, I was so excited yesterday about getting that floor down. And I have been up, I've been up so early all week long, really, really, really trying to get myself together, trying to keep myself together. And everything, well, yesterday was Saturday, and I was supposed to go live early, like, I don't know, 7 o'clock maybe my time last night. And um, I said, like, yeah, 7 o'clock my time. So that would have been, that would have been early for me. But guess what happened? Um... We decided, and I'm going to show the video, I'm going to put the video up next, I think. I think, I think I'm going to put the video up next, that we did get the floor up. And we decided that we were going to go ahead and put the floor, uh, and just go ahead and, instead of putting a different uh, tile down in a bathroom, we were going to use what we had because I had about 16 pieces left over and all I needed was a few. So anyway, I just went, so I told Johnny, that's fine, that's what we'll do. You know, it'll be in the bathroom, it'll be the same top. So I run to Lowe's and bought another box and what we don't use, I can take back. And then I stopped at the big Dollar General store and just I just took my time and walked around and walked around and just was just you know kind of just took my time I'd never been in that store where I could walk through every aisle and the one thing that I realized and it, it, it's a big dollar store was they didn't have the frozen things because you know I mean I never really bought anything unless it was a hot dog or something like that you know a bacon or something but anyway, it is 7.30, and I'm going to do this, and I, then I've got to get up and get dressed and get ready to go to church. So, on the way home, I felt like I was sleepy, but I had started a new medication. And, you know, I kind of felt like um, I did when I worked third shift, like, you know, the yellow lines... Uh, and I'm thinking, is this the medication? Or am I sleepy? So, this is what happened. God bless the girl. The sweet young lady that I was supposed to go on with. Evidently, I, I was so wore out and tired. I come home and I separated the stuff that I'd gotten at Dollar General. I'd gotten Pop Tarts and I was thinking on, I was think no, not Dollar General, Dollar Tree. And I was thinking, hmm, I could do a Dollar Tree. You know, what I bought at the Dollar Tree. Because I did, I did buy extra and I might do that because you buy these things at the at the other store, and they're like three dollars and stuff something. So I bought all. I think they had six of them, or maybe eight, but I bought them all because they were only a dollar. And I may do this later on uh, because um, I use it to um, there. Like there's this. I use it to. Uh, like if I have fish and I want to coat fish or something like that and uh, it, it calls for this type of uh, breading 
and uh, it's very expensive at Food Lion or Walmart or whatever. So I did buy that, and it, it, and it was like, I, I, I mean, I just took everything off the shelf because it was like six of them or eight of them anyway. Because, I mean, I've never seen them there before, so I did get a good deal on that. And the other stuff I just got because I needed it or wanted it or the kids, you know, Pop-Tarts, whatever, anything. Okay, so that's my story. But the story is, I'm so sorry, Lori, because we were supposed to go live at 7 o'clock. So I come in, and I was even supposed to take Johnny's discount card back, which he is, and I'm going to tell the story. Uh, he's a veteran, so at Lowe's they give you a, a card, and I think, I, I don't know, I, it must be 5% off, because I think, I don't know how much it was. But I told him, I said, well, just give me your card, because he's always wanting me to go to Lowe's. Oh, what are you doing? Rebel, I've never seen you have the hiccups before. What's wrong with you? I know. See? See what I do? I go from one thing to the other. Other. And I say other. 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 Because I'm Virginia. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh. So, what happened was, yeah. I, I still have it in my pocket, and I told him that I would bring it to him uh, last night, so before he goes to church, well, I stuck it in my wallet, but the thing was, I used it at Lowe's, and it popped up John Fretwell, and the lady looked at me, and she said, it's a veteran card, you know, you're a veteran. And I thought, well, it might pop, pop up Fretwell, but it popped up John Fretwell. She looked at me and she said, you don't look like John Fretwell. And I said, he's my husband. And she said, oh. And she just kind of looked at me. And I said, well, no. I said, really, he's my brother-in-law. And she said, he's your husband. And this is what I said to her. I said, well, yeah. I said, really? He has become my husband. I said, because when my husband, not my husband, I said, but when Jason passed away, Johnny said to me and the people that were around, I've got to live a hundred, I've got to, he turned 79 uh, September the 30th. And he said, I've got to live to be a hundred now because my brother died and now my nephew has passed away. And he says, the Bible says that when you, if, if your brother dies, then you have to take care of his wife. So I told her, I said, well, I said, he told me and I said, it is in the Bible somewhere that I've read it somewhere that if your brother dies then that then you're then you're responsible for taking care of his wife I said so really I guess he is my husband I said but we're not married really and I said and I laughed and I said and we don't live together and she said you're right you're exactly right that is what the Bible says so anyway that was a funny story and I'm going to have to tell Johnny that because I haven't got to tell Johnny that because I haven't seen him. So anyway, back to the, I was supposed to go live last night at seven o'clock and I come home and it was three o'clock and I laid down on the bed and I said, well, I'll sleep a couple hours. I didn't set the alarm. The phone rang, and I think I looked at it, it might have been 7.30, something to 8, and they're like, are you awake? Because I had told her I was going to take a nap, that I had, that I was running around doing errands. She said, are you awake? And I said, no. And she said, okay, well, go ahead and sleep. When you wake up, you can come light, you can come on. 
And I said, okay. So, guess what time I woke up? Rebel come over and wanted to go out and go potty at 12 o'clock, midnight. And so I got up, let, let him out, and I'm like, oh no, poor, 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 poor Lori. I am so sorry if you watch this. I am so sorry. I texted her a message and I said, I'm so sorry. I just woke up. Anyway. So, I got up. My my doors were still wide open at midnight. Which my windows, I, I left them open. Uh, to air, you know, it was a nice day yesterday. And, uh. I did use vinegar on my window. God, they hadn't been cleaned for so long, and I was so glad they got cleaned. So I locked all my doors, and this was midnight, man. My doors were still wide open, and, I mean, I don't think there's anybody going to come in up here. And I know Rebel probably wouldn't. Uh, anyway, and um, I don't think Rebel would let them come in anyway. But anyway... Um, so I locked my doors, come back in here, went back to bed, and didn't wake up till 5.30 this morning. So I got up at 5.30, 6 o'clock, went in, made me a cup of coffee, and with it being Sunday, I took my medication early because I have this fluid pill that just sometimes it'll run me and I don't like it. And I know that's too much information. TMI. But see, I'm ready to go again today. But yesterday, I conked out. So that's a good thing because I needed to sleep. And I did sleep. So... I'm going to read the first chapter of Hebrews this morning, and then I'm going to get up, take a shower, get ready to go to church. And I hope that if there is a place for you to go, even if it's even if it's a fam in your family's home, join together and have some type of Bible reading or, you know, you know what I heard yesterday, and I'm going to tell y'all. I heard that the devil does not like people to sing praise and worship. And because he, that's, you know, that was his job. You know, he was, he was over the music in heaven, over the praise and worship in heaven. And he was the best singer. And he got kicked, remember, you know, he got kicked out of heaven because he thought he, the, him and the angels, they decided they were better than God and that he does not like praise that's why he hates p praise and worship he hates people singing praises to God why because that was his job in heaven and he hates that I was listening to the woman that has pink hair on YouTube yesterday and I never heard that before but I believe it I truly believe it that's why you know I mean so Sing your heart out to the Lord, people. Sing, sing. I don't care if it's amazing grace. I don't care if if it's one day at a time, sweet Jesus. You know, that's what I want. I said, I have told, I have told Jeff that I got to tell my boys. Well, not my boys. I got to tell Chris now that I want that song at my funeral. If, if Jesus don't come first, because... I just have to take one day at a time, and I love that song, and it's an old song, but anyway, there's so much I have to talk to about Chris, and I just can't get him by himself, he's just so busy, so maybe when I come home this evening, if he's at the house, I'm going to have to go down there and drag him out and bring him up here, and we're going to have to have a long talk, okay, Lord, help us today, help everyone today to be, um, if today's not your Sabbath and yesterday was your Sabbath, that's that's a good thing. But let everyone have a Sabbath, God, that they can take and, and go with you and uh, just 
worship you. Let everyone have a Sabbath, Lord God. Whether it's on a Saturday or a Sunday, it doesn't matter. You know, people fight about that. People argue about that. Well, Sunday's not the Sabbath, or Saturday's the Sabbath, or Monday's the Sabbath. But you know what, Lord? I don't think we have to have an argument about that. I think the main thing is that if we serve you, and it don't matter what day we believe the Sabbath is in, God, that as long as we worship you, then as long as we have Jesus, Jesus is the main thing. If we have Jesus in our heart, that's what the Bible said that's going to take us to heaven. In your name, Jesus, I pray. Okay, I'm going to read Hebrews chapter 1, and I just picked it out. And I'm just going to be honest. The Hebrews, feel, these older ones in the, the back is the, my, a lot of my favorites. Okay, the sun's superior to angels, and I'm going to read today from the New International Version. So, let, let me get this up here so I can read it. You wanna look at Rebel while I read? Let, yeah, let me look at, let, let you look at Rebel. But then you won't pay attention because you'll be going, oh, look at Rebel. <laughs> let me read it to you. <laughs> the sun superior to angels. That's the hitting, the headline. Number one, first chapter, no, chapter one. In the past, God spoke to our forefathers through the prophets at many times and in various places. Uh, let's see. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, whom he appointed heir of all things, and though whom he made the universe, the son is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining in all things by his powerful word after he had provided purification for sins. He sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven, so he became as much superior to the angels as the name he has inherited and superior to theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say? And of course, I'm shaking a little bit, but it's just because I don't have it ready. Okay. You are my son today. I have become your father. Or again, I will be his father and he will be my son. And again, when God brings his firstborn into the world, he says, let all God's angels worship him. And speaking of the angels, he says, He makes his angels winds, his servants flames of fire. But about the sun, he said, Your throne, O God, will last forever and ever, and righteousness will be the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, your God, has set you above your companions." by anointing you with the oil of joy. He also says, In the beginning, O Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. They will all wear out like a garment. You will roll them up like a robe. Like a garment, they will be changed. But you remain the same. And your years will never end. To which of the angels did God ever say, Set at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet? You are, you, no, are not all angels ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation? Let me just go ahead. Warning to pay attention. Chapter 2. We must pay more careful attention, therefore, to what we have heard, so that we do not drift away. For if the message spoken by angels was binding, and every violation and disobedience received its just punishment, how shall we escape if we ignore such a great salvation? This salvation, which was first announced by the Lord, was confirmed to us by those who heard him. 
God also testified to it by signs, wonders, and various miracles, and gifts of the Holy Spirit, distributed according to his will. Jesus made like his brothers. It is not to angels that